Hello guys and you're welcome. Now in this section on object oriented programming, we're going to be modeling this plastic bottle. We're going to look at the properties the plastic bottle has, like the name weight, the capacity, and the maximum temperature it has. Uh, this is just a practical example. So some of the concepts can be moved and carried across to other uh, object oriented programming uh, methods and techniques. So uh, plastics are usually made, especially plastic bottles. This one, for instance, is made of a compound called polyethylene and that's what we're going to be uh, modeling right now. The uh, full name is uh, polyethylene teratylate. Like that's PTE. That's what the uh, name of that raw material is. So let's see how we can go ahead and create a model of this uh, water bottle. Basically, we're going to look at the properties it has and then some few functions. So let's jump into uh, idle, which is Python's default uh, IDE. I'm going to click on file new file. File. I'm going to save this as mm -hmm. so let me just create a new folder quickly and let's just call that uh, new folder and let's call that uh, PTE and then we we'll open PTE all right cool so we'll go ahead and save this Python file so just call that uh, plastic. So that's the name of our file and let's maximize and begin. So the first thing I like to do is to create a comment and describe what the class is doing. So class that describes creating a um, PTE PET bottle, right? We can always um, change that, so let's move on. So the first thing we're going to do is to create our class, and we can do that with the keyword class, and I'm going to just call that plastic. So some properties we have about a plastic are things such as its design temperature. Plastics are not supposed to go beyond uh, storage of items beyond a temperature. So I'm going to, going to call that design temp. Whoops. Design temperature. I'm just going to set that to... Uh, uh, you know what, let's just, uh, let's leave that for now. Let's just use the uh, raw material. Yeah, we have a raw material. And we're going to set that to the name of the raw material called PET. Mm -hmm. And yeah, everything should be indented towards the right space. It also has a price. I'm going to set the default price to 1.34. That's the price of unit per unit for a uh, PET bottle. And then I'm just going to create another uh, class variable called drink. I'm going to say nice or refreshing either way. So this next thing I'm going to do is to create the uh, constructor. So I'm going to call the Dunder method, the init method for this class's constructor. And we'll pass in uh, self the name, the capacity, the weight, the temperature. I wanted to do it here. That's why I didn't include it as the class variable. We'll just put the bottle underscore number and also a cost because we're planning to calculate the cost. Let's not forget our column. So right now I'm going to do is assign the self variable to the name of the variable in the init method. This will make it easier to call that object and perform uh, work on it. So I'm just going to do self dot weight equals weight and self dot capacity equals capacity and the self dot temp equals temp and the self dot cost equals cost and then finally self dot bottle number equals bottle underscore number so let's see i have uh, one two three four five six one two three four five six so we're good if i have any uh, typo <laughs> i'll be in trouble so next thing i also want to do is to create the uh 
init method, the str method to display. So what I'm going to do, I'm supposed to comment. So let's just say creating the str method to to format our output. And I'm going to use alt than the number. If you use alt three, it will turn that into a uh, comment. So let's just quickly add this comment and creating the constructor. And uh, here we're going to say creating the class. All right. So to create the str method, we're just going to define def. And these should also be indented because they're underneath a class. So I'm just going to go ahead and indent all these guys. And right now I'm going to create the str method. str with two underscores. Two underscores is called a dender, uh, dunder, dunder method. Right? They're also called special methods. With this, I don't, we don't really need to create a print class. So what we want to do is to return from the init method the variables we created. So first we're going to say item, item name, and then we're going to say self dot name. Whenever you see these curly braces, it means they are going to get a variable that was already created. So that's the useful thing by using the uh, str method. Right. So and also I like to print this on a new line. So I'm going to do backspace and n like that. So I want to print that on a new line. So that's why I'm doing that. So for the capacity, I'm just going to say cap. <laughs> So cap, and then we're going to do a self.capacity, self.capacity, like that. Hope my spelling is accurate. Yeah, the spelling is okay. And the capacity is going to be in centiliters. And I'll create a new line under that. Right? So uh, if, if I don't want this to actually go to the next line, I'll just use one single slash like that. And then we'll click this drop down arrow like this. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Put that code one backslash, and then you click the return key, and you'll see it continues and uses this. This it shows the same color, so it means we're going to keep on moving. So I'm going to say wait, and then we're going to pass in the self dot wait, and the unit of the weight is going to be in kilograms. And I also want to create that in a new line. And I'm going to say number of bottles. Bottle. It could be bottle or bottles. So I'm going to put it in a bracket with S. And I'm going to say self dot bottles underscore number. All right. And we're going to just close this like that. And get rid of this because it is going to be a problem. So we have two of that. Yeah, we just need one. So this slash here is just to separate the line instead of having the line look like this, which is going to go out of the screen. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. So you just slash this and it will separate the line. Just quickly take a sip of water. So this is going to um, separate the line. So now that we've created the str method, we can actually go ahead and create an instance. And we create that instance. And so let's just do that. So let's say uh, creating an instance or object of the plastic class. And we'll just make this to a comment. So I'm just gonna say inst01. I'm going to set that to plastic. Now remember, our plastic accepts some certain arguments. So the first argument is going to accept is a string called swan. And then it's going to accept the capacity, which is 34 liters. Then the weight, which is 0 0.23 kilograms. Then the, um, the temperature, I'm going to set that to 34. 
on the number of bottles so I'm going to set that to one and then finally uh, the cost right because we use the cost here at the ending so we can actually put any value we want to just put 23 and finally we just want to print this uh, result out so what I'm going to do is say print INST01 and hopefully it should run. It says plastic object has no attribute bottles underscore number. So let's see what we did here. So let's say bottle underscore number, but here we're saying bottles with an S. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that, save it and run. So that's why I said if we have a typographical error, this is going to our display. So these are the values we imputed. We imputed the name, the capacity is 34 liters, the weight is 0.23 kilograms, and we're not getting uh, everything. We're not getting everything. So we have the name, capacity, the weight, number of bottles. So we're not getting the uh, temperature, right? We're not seeing the temperature. Well, yeah, we're not seeing it because that's not what we told the STR method to display. So in our next lesson, we're going to move on and continue working on this uh, program.